Hello everybody, we have made it to Las Vegas Sin City. Do they still even call it that? I have no idea, but it's my first time here. We're staying at the Mirage. We got in last night and I am already like, whoa. So you know the saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? Well, some of it may, but this time, what happens here, we're bringing you along with us for my very first time in this very interesting place. The first thing you notice when you come in the lobby is this massive fish tank behind the registration desk. All right, we're checked in. Look at this lobby bar. Look at this dome. <laughs> There's so much everywhere. Whoa. This is so pretty and so overwhelming already. And we're just in our hotel lobby. And we have a few adventures planned. Look, look at the mirage up there. All right, Sam, lead the way. <laughs> she said follow the purple carpet uh, to the right, to the right. Yeah. Look at the casinos, oh my gosh. This way, yeah. This is like a, a movie. Yeah, I smell smoke. They do allow smoking in a lot of the casinos here. Okay, do we have an elevator? Yeah. Now to see our room. Four. Oh, four? Yeah. Well, multiple banks of elevators. And this is the one for floors nine through 16. Ooh. Okay, okay. There are over 3,000 rooms in this hotel. So yeah, it's huge. You ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Uh, let me show you around our room. So this hotel was purchased by Hard Rock. So at some point, this is all presumably going to be changed, torn down, renovated. It's going to look very different. It does look kind of old school, but kind of fun. And, oh my gosh, I gotta turn the lights off to show you this view. All right, now we're turning off all the lights in the room because you can't, oh my gosh, can't have any glare. Still, still really bad glare. Maybe if I, no, it's because of those lights well, right the lights there. Outside. Yeah, but this is our view. Wow. There's a volcano down there, look. Um, oh, I see it. So the volcano, they say, is going to go away, but we'll give you better views of it. It is a really cool view. And that's where we're staying, the Mirage, Treasure Island, the wind, the Palazzo. Venetian. <gasps> Look at Casino Royale, that looks crazy down there too. Harrah's. More yeah, greens right there. Wow. Okay, well, that is exciting. Let me show you the closet. It's just the bare necessities. Got some storage, some drawers, alarm clock and all that. The fridge is a mini bar. So they told us if you open it or touch anything or do anything, you will get charged, so we're not touching the fridge. It is kind of unfortunate we don't have a fridge to use, but there's a desk with all the plugs and everything, so that's good. A Bible, ooh, Vegas stuff, cool. And here is the banyo. Very simple, nothing too fancy, but it'll do. And I'll show you the amenities. There's an almond and olive soap, tissues and all that. Another soap, a shampoo and conditioner and lotion. And definitely not enough towels. So we'll have to ask for more. <gasps> ah, the volcano's going off. Oh my gosh. Do you see the fire? volcano view room so oh cool. cool and it opens which is yeah. scary and here's our view during the day pretty doggone cool at night there's a lot of glare but we can still see the mirage volcano down there look at the mountains back there all right let's start exploring It's cool, this big dome in the middle too. We can see it from our window and it lets the light in. It's like a pretty atrium, very sunny and bright with waterfalls. And outside of this hotel is a volcano. And we saw it last night from our window and we'll see it again today. 
and presumably all of this will change as Hard Rock takes over. And a mermaid with a butt. Interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. All right, off to you. Okay. Look at how pretty though. This is going away. Yeah. I'm gonna soak it in as much as we can, right? So the plan is that the Hard Rock has purchased this and they're going to take over and take down this whole volcano area and build a big guitar. So that's interesting. And here is a big Mirage Gateway. Oh dear, look at how close they are to each other. That is weird. Slot and video poker promotion and we'll cover your first 20 dollars The Venetian has these canals and you can take little boats through them, gondolas. Wow. This is very a lot. It feels kind of surreal to be here, right? Yeah, it's warm, isn't it? We're both like beating, beating down. Lead the way. <laughs> I'm following this really curve. <laughs> oh, there's the forum. That's like a really big shopping area. There's a lot of different uh, photo ops out. Interesting. Because they'll be holding a Formula One race here, apparently they're going to be changing and demolishing a lot, but they're building up and changing a bunch of the strip just for that. Second biggest wheel in the world back there. Whoa, there's the Bellagio over there. They have a very famous fountain show we definitely want to see. The Flamingo. It's got that old school Vegas look. I guess we're going up on this bridge over here. Oh, the Eiffel Tower and the Eiffel Crane. Wow. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. You can get views on either side. Just in this tiny little walk, though, at the very beginning of our day, we're seeing so many iconic sites. It's really cool. It's like getting a, a lay of the land, you know? Hi, how are right? you? Guys? Oh, yes. Right in front of us is the Taco Bell Cantina. Apparently you can get married in here and it's kind of famous and the family wants to see it. So let's go see it. Oh, wow. This is so weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? I kind of want a frozen twisted. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Definitely need one of these. Beers. Oh. I'm excited for my drink, though. Yeah, me too. A Baja Blast? Like, what? Cheers! Yeah, it does. And yours tastes like Baja Blast Rum. Uh, they have wedding ceremonies here. Wow, in the upstairs. Uh, let's take this party upstairs? Okay, let's. We gotta at least take a look up here. <laughs> It's a bar up here, and this is the part that's reserved for the happy couple, their friends and family. Oh, whoa! Look at this big giant Coke bottle! And then New York, New York coaster! I got some uh, Mickey Mouse, some weird stuff here.
Got a good old New York skyline over here. Oh my God, I saw Elvis. It's the Clark County Fire Department. Oh yeah, we gotta do that yeah. at some point, for sure. Look at Excalibur, it looks like a toy set or something. I love it. It's the lion, it's so huge. Jabberwockies are at Horror Nights at Hollywood. Speaking of which, Halloween Horror Nights will be bringing an event to Vegas and we will definitely come out for that. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. <sighs> we popped inside the MGM Grand. I'll tell you one thing, there's air conditioning. Sorta. Of. Follow the yellow brick road, I guess. David Copperfield, definitely a name you think of when you think of more modern Las Vegas shows. Modern, but like, been here forever. <laughs> All right, Sam, spit some facts about this I'm place. I'm really excited because this is the one where the MGM Grand Adventures was next door to, the uh -huh. part that closed. Uh -huh. And this was all with the Oz theme before. This is like one of the classic resorts that opened in the 90s. One of the huge mega resorts that had like family attractions and everything. So like you see on this picture, I just Googled like, yeah. that's that roof we just saw and it had the big Whoa. Wizard of Oz castle in the middle. I wish we could have seen it, yeah. Emerald City. Yeah, so cool. So now we're gonna take the monorail that takes you between some of the resorts on the strip. And I think we should go check out Caesars. There is a, a little animatronic bowing show that I have to see. Yeah. I have to see. Awesome, let's go. Look, a throwback. It's like the Emerald City up here. And that's gotta be a reference to it. I guess they keep the the emeralds, you know? They've got this boxing ring in the middle, but a gold lion in it. Everything is just so bright and colorful and shiny and loud, and there's just so much to look at. All right, I guess we go down here. Here are the prices. You can purchase an e-ticket online and save a little bit, and there's a QR code if you wanna do it. It is really 90s looking in here. I don't know how cool this monorail is gonna be, but we gotta do it at least once. Woo! We're in. Northbound. He's in here. Look behind you. Sticks! We saw that! Paris Hotel and Casino and City Center. Flamingo, is that where we're going? That's crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Apparently, they think it's going to be a concert. Like, it's hard, like, the sense of space here is so strange. Yeah, like, everything's, like, oh, crammed in. Like, yeah. Direction it feels it really far, but yeah. it's not. These things are so weird. Oh, thanks. Ooh. We'll definitely see it again from a better view, but it is cool to see from here. Wow. Imagine this year when the Formula One is just going down the, the strip here. They're just driving the, down the strip. Yeah. I think they're knocking down like to make more room and they're repaving all of the strip. This looks like newer, but. Yeah, it does. They're doing a bunch of changes to build infrastructure just for that. Yeah. I cannot picture me. It's going to be a big deal. Wow. All right. Look at this. Hello, Caesar. We're here at your palace. Look at this entrance though. That is definitely palatial. Impressive. All right, we're gonna go inside. Let's go through the middle spinny doors. Go, go, go. <laughs> Where'd we go? There we here. go. Wow. Oh yeah. 
quite the check-in line though. That chandelier is just... Whoa. We've made our way through the casino and so much around us to the forum shops at Caesars Palace, which we're gonna check out next, but just one more look around. This is just so interesting, you know? It's so interesting to see the juxtaposition of they're trying to do like Caesar and ancient theming with these bright, colorful casino machines and gambling and stuff. <laughs> and the benches look like pillars that have been knocked over. So this, when they announced that this mall was going to be built at Caesars, they it was like ridiculed that it was a waste of gambling space. Oh. But it changed Vegas, and then mall and shopping became a much bigger thing here. Interesting. Look at the ceiling; it's like a sky. I mean, they really did create an interesting and beautiful space. And it's definitely a lot. This is the Fountain of the Gods. We're looking for a different fountain, but this one's pretty cool too. I feel like I'm in Truman Show right now. I see a sign, Atlantis Show. Woo! That's what we're looking for. And around the side, there's a fish tank. Oh, wow. There's like sharks and rays in here. We came here for the Atlantis show, and we saw the Atlantis show, and it was really neat. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> this is so interesting, right? Have you ever been on a curved escalator? I don't think so. I don't think I have that either. It's cool though. Yeah, Another gift shop. Back outside. Whoa! Oh my gosh, it startled me. We made our way back up to our room, had a little bit of a rest, had a shower and freshened up and we're going out for dinner with the family. But I'm going to continue this video either later tonight after dinner or tomorrow morning with some more things that we're doing. I'll see you 
in just a moment with whatever the next thing's gonna be. We're back at the Venetian to meet up with family. We've gotta check out some of these views. This resort is so ornate and over the top. Whoa. And we had to come see the famous gondolas. And we are definitely gonna watch the Mirage's Volcano Show tonight properly from the outside. There's fountains and fire. I like the reflection in the water here too. Yeah, I was thinking the same, the gondola view. The gondola view and the fire and the fountains and also the like police and ambulances. <laughs> like, just, it ties it all together. So this is the indoor portion of the gondolas. We had to come inside to look. And it's got the fake uh, Truman Show sky, just like we saw at Caesars. I gotta say, I think indoor wins. Indoor is pretty cool. I don't know which is cooler. You know what would be the best is if you did outdoor while the volcano's going off. That would be cool. That yeah. would be the winner. This is neat though. It's like a little, you know. I guess after uh, the forum at Caesars, the sky walls really caught on. Yeah. I mean, sky roofs. More Venetian decor here. It just seems to go on and on and on. Each resort is huge on its own. Well, we found this bridge, and this seems like a much nicer way to cross the road. And it's a neat view. Well, let's see the other side. Oh, yeah, the stratosphere. That is neat. Yeah, escalators. <gasps> and they work. Ooh. All right, down we go. That's nice. I got a big Siegfried and Roy statue here. Or like a big bust with a bunch of crystals all around them. There are so many signs for every resort, you know? Like the Mirage has about 20 different signs. It's hard to tell which one's for what. Yeah. We crossed the street and we're back at the Mirage and I think we're going to get a closer view of the volcano and it's going off in like eight minutes. So hopefully this is a good spot, right? Yeah. We just got to go with what we can. Yeah, I think it's up there. This is going to be replaced with like the giant hard rock guitar. Yeah. There's a lot of people waiting. There are a lot of people up against the railing, except no one's right here, which makes me a little suspicious. <laughs> Uh, we're excited. Everyone wants to see it before it's gone. Yeah, yeah, we have to. Kind of crazy, like, this has been here since 1989. And, like, this is, like, one of the first family-friendly, like, attractions to bring people into the resort that, like, anyone can just watch. It's kind of sad it's going away. A little bit, right? It's such a huge space for, like, I mean, it looks... A five-minute like, show. It looks crazy, though. Like, it's really pretty. Right after, right? Iconic. Yeah, definitely iconic. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you look at the Mirage building, like this makes the Mirage look amazing. And when this hotel opened in like 1989, like if you saw this, it must have been like the best thing Mind ever. Blowing. Yeah. And even today in 2023, people all gather up all along yeah. the railings. Ooh, and even from when we were at the Venetian, yeah. people were like, ooh, ah. Yeah. It's like iconic and. It's kind of sad it's going, like, yeah. it's like anything here, like, it, it gets knocked down and replaced, but, like... At least we got to see it, you know? Yeah. And, like, seeing the hotel behind it like this, like, it looks pretty cool. It makes it a lot cooler. Yeah. And the 
water feature goes all around and there are dolphins and layered waterfalls and I mean it is really impressive. And the fact that it's existed that long is kind of crazy too. Yeah. See a little closer to the volcano and all the different fire torches in the water and you can see there's more waterfalls. It's really vast. Ah, uh, here's a sign telling you the times that it goes off. And of course, in the 1997 comedy Vegas Vacation, a large portion of that was filmed here at the Mirage. Time literally flies when you're here. Like, where's the day gone? The day has gone by so quickly. It is almost 11 now. We've been out all day and it's flown by. Like. It feels like a blur, kind of. Yeah. We've got a big day tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. And this is just day one of like, we just kind of wanted to explore and get the lay of the land and see a few things. And tomorrow we have a family wedding. And then uh, we're going to keep doing some more. Yeah, there's a lot to see. There's, there's so a, much. And it's kind of overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you could see it all, like no. in just the few days that we're here. Yeah. So we have a list and we'll try to see like our top priorities. Yeah. I think it's bedtime, what do you say? Or at least go back to the hotel and like get cozy time. Thank you. There's the roommate with the butt again. Like it has a human butt. Thank you. This mermaid, like that's you not- You would start the tail like- Yeah, the tail higher. usually starts above. Vegas. In Vegas, man. Vegas. Now we know we're back at our hotel once we see this dome. Good morning, it's wedding day. Ooh. We're all dressed up, we're gonna meet with family, celebrate our loved ones, and have a fun day and evening. It's gonna be an experience. Yeah, it's really hot out, but we're really excited to have a lot of fun. Obviously, I'm not gonna vlog the wedding itself, but I'll bring you along for some snippets of our evening. So we better go. I guess we better head down, let's go. <laughs> you look beautiful. All right, let's see yours. You look so handsome. I mean, I tried. They said wear whatever you want. But they you did. Know, you have to make a bit of an effort. We made a little bit of an effort. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Look, look cool like Vegas, yeah. <laughs> go. I'm in the mirror. Tonight we're having dinner at the Nomad here at Park MGM. Bell would like this. Sunset is a great time to be here because you've still got some light, but all the buildings are lit up as if it's nighttime. Some after dinner drinks at Brew Dog.
called like a halubi or something like that. There's all this dust flying all around and like a ton of wind out of nowhere. It's very windy up here right it's now. It's very, what's the movie? I feel like I'm Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. Yeah. If you know that movie, you'll know which mine. The one with all the sand. Yeah, the one with all the sand. I don't know if you can see it. It's like very windy and sandy. Well, there's also bubbles, but it like got in all our eyes. Where are we heading? Uh, oh, we're gonna go see the fountain show at the Bellagio. Uh, we're actually starting to get the suspicion that all that dust flying around might be from whatever's going on over here, like this construction site, all the rubble and dirt, because it seems to be swirling right up here, unless there's something else back there going on. But either way, it's all over the place. The wind is definitely... Yeah, it's also really windy. Even down here. Yeah. <laughs> To the cosmopolitan wow this is like a massive chandelier looking thing whoa or i guess curtains but it's cool oh look it's called the chandelier We found a spot here to watch the Bellagio Fountain Show, one of the most expensive and iconic fountain shows in the world. The fountains go up to 460 feet. It's been in a ton of movies, and we're just so excited to have a front row viewing spot. Do you believe that it can actually go up to 460 feet? 460 feet is pouring down If that's what the website says, that's what Wikipedia says, that's what like multiple yeah, up to. So it could be like two feet. Yeah. Like yeah, it could go up to that if it, if it wanted to. Yeah. I'm a little skeptical too. How tall are these buildings? They can't be like. Uh, I don't know. It's a giga giga fountain. It's happening. It's happening. It's starting. It happens every 15 minutes. Look at that mist. Yes, yeah, sir. Can you please turn that random music off? I'm trying to listen to Bellagio fountain music. Look at that, it's rolling over the water, wow. What do we got, 50 feet, 100 maybe? 50 maybe. It's very hard to estimate. The fountains are like dancing to the music. Woo! I like that. Taller, taller. Wiggle fountains. Wow. I love when it splashes back down. Oh, neat. Four sixty foot or anything? Uh, <laughs> One fifty. Uh -huh. Wow. It's like a storm over there. It's so cool. Wow. Nice. 
That was really cool. Oh, now the Eiffel Tower is doing that sparkly thing and we can get a better view of it out here on the street. There are huge crowds watching the fountain show. <laughs> I can't even imagine what it's going to be like. Yeah, I don't want no part of that. <laughs> I don't know. You have that mask up in your ears. I don't even wear my watch. I think to cap off this night, we need some fancy ice cream from the hotel lobby. Mint chocolate chip, delicious. Look at this fountain of chocolate they've got here. And that concludes our first two days here in Las Vegas, my very first time exploring the Las Vegas strips, all of the resorts. We dined, we danced a little, we had fun, we celebrated the wedding of loved ones, we hung out with family, and you know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to process. It's a very different kind of vacation place. And there's a lot of a mix of sort of the 90s Vegas stuff with the more modern stuff, the old and the new, a lot of street buskers and people asking for money and doing this and that, and a lot of different areas that are very different from each other. Now we are gonna continue exploring tomorrow, but that will be in the next video of this trip. So thank you for hanging out with us for this beginning. Actually, this is sort of like the end of a big holiday. We're coming off the cruise and Disneyland and Universal uh, Hollywood and Knott's Berry Farm and all of this. And then this is kind of like tying it all up. So the beginning of the Vegas portion of the end of a very long series of trips. <laughs> Stay tuned, thank you for hanging out with us. I am sending you all a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.